Today is April 17th and I'm working on a micro stepping stepper driver which uh, powers an M23 stepper motor got from the lab. It just has a spindle on there for uh, a flywheel effect to help get rid of some harmonics. But um, basically uh, the motor controller is separated into two sides. I have one side that handles uh, half the motor and this side handles the other half of the motor. It has a LM324 op amp which measures uh, the current across uh, two sensing resistors down there and over there. And then basically the Atmel chip um, generates a pulse width uh, varying in frequency and that comes into a logic side which this is the logic for uh, handling the BCD timer and distributing the signals out to the LM324 micro or op amps to regulate the current so basically there's there's two phases. One is um, selecting which transistor uh, up here and then the other stage is selecting the current for the transistor and this will be done, I can demonstrate it on the, op on the oscilloscope but I still don't have uh, the portion where I can separate it to each uh, transistor. That's uh, going to take me some more wires and as you can see uh, I have plenty on the board and not enough in my pocket so I'm just going to turn on the scope and you can see the current regulating. This is um, the reference voltage fed into the op amp itself. So it's going to be in like the middle volts range because uh, we're comparing it to a resist to the voltage across the sensing resistor which should be about point, point 0.1 volt to uh, about 3.3 3 volts. So we'll look at this. The, oh, we're going to look at the wave on the... let me just turn it off. Um, I power up the power supply. Everything runs on 5 volts except for the motor, which will run at uh, 7.2, which is battery for our uh, purposes of our robot project. So just powered it up, and now this board is running, and the wave, as you can see on there, is generated. Um, right now it's set at 100 millivolts per division and the frequency can change based on the frequency going in to the microcontroller but uh, the frequency right now is uh well because the triggers are so high hold on. right now the frequency is at 40 hertz times 4 or times 5 so about 200 this is one revolution per second we're looking at I just jump around so I'm using the trigger on the side here. And that's about 10 milliseconds per division. And as you can see, uh, the waves overlap each other. So basically, when the red one's at 100% duty cycle, uh, the yellow one should be at 0% duty cycle, and vice versa. And there's three stages in the middle where they meet. I don't know what's going on exactly. I think my timer is cutting off prematurely or something. That's why uh, this portion of the wave keeps popping in right there. Uh, it's not staircased. So that's one thing I'm working on. Also, uh, I think I'm using too many gates and they're feeding off each other too much. So I have to put some pull-up resistors in there. Um, as you can see, I already have like over 50 resistors in there just as pull-up and op-amp configuration. But uh, other than that,